Hi guys, it's Georgia again. I thought today that we would do a, I was fixing some lunch. My husband's up on the roof of work and uh, you, you can hear that racket. The straight line winds came through and grabbed a 38 and a half foot porch rope and plop, smacked it back on top of the trailer. So that killed that. And it happened before we got the property. So we're just kind of, it's got to be took off so that we can, uh, Get new and I'm in. I'm a porch person. I ain't much on the inside. All right. After you slice your potato down this way, like it right there, then you cut them across this way, and that gives you your potato pieces that you're gonna fry. And I'm gonna get this going here. I'm sorry I already had them peeled before I thought. I had somebody ask me a while back how to peel potatoes. And I, not how to peel potatoes, how to fry potatoes. And I just kept putting off, putting off. But I'm just, like I said, I'm fixing a little bite of lunch and I thought I'd go ahead and uh, and just film it. I mean, it'll be all right. And uh, I've done got them pre-sliced. Every one of them. And I'm a, I got my skillet. I don't, well, I'll turn it back out because it's burning me up. But I'm getting ready to turn her back out because you want her popping when you put your potatoes in. You get down to this. I only peeled five, so it shouldn't take us the rest of our lives for me to get this done. We hope not, anyway. This is the fourth one. That's into the next skillet because I'm getting poured the water in my bowl. I should have. <clears throat> well, I'm almost done. I'm not going to hold you up here. And then I'll bring you back and we'll get them in the skillet. Thank you. Hi, guys. This is a 10 inch skillet that I'm using here. I'll show it to you real fast. And I've got about, I well, probably real close to a quarter cup of uh, cooking oil in it. I didn't have any baking grease or normally that's what I'd use and uh, I just swirl it around because now the potatoes are going to go real high up on the skillet you can see there where I've took the oil to to uh because potatoes want to stick and this is a new skillet I've only used once or twice and until I get it seasoned good it's probably going to do some sticking but since these are lunch potatoes my grease ain't ready yet. It's not popping. Since it's lunch potatoes, I'm going to probably um, cut up a maybe half of an onion and a half of a green pepper in them and just fry it all together and then cut up a little bit of meat, maybe fry a piece of bread. All right, I'd be, well, no, I'm not going to come back in a minute. I'm going to show you. They're, it's starting to heat up good. Well, I'll bring you back here in a minute. I'll get the potatoes in, then I can add my onions and green peppers second. Alrighty, the skillet's ready. Let's get these uh, potatoes in there. I don't have uh, my onion and green pepper sliced yet, but I'm getting ready to do that. Then I sliced a little bit of meat though. I'm not fixing no big bunch of nothing because uh, My husband had breakfast this morning. I've not had breakfast, but I'm not. I didn't have time for food with it. And uh, I'm still not like starving to death. I'm real bad for that. That's why I'm so hungry at, at supper time a lot of times. Now let me get my um, green pepper going and get it in there. I want it to fry right along with it. Well, that knife just loves. A green pepper, well, it's slicing through that like it's paper. And you know, it's kind of hard to get a knife that'll slice through. If you turn it upside down, a, a, a plastic knife go through. But you turn it that way, it's, it's harder to get a knife. You've got to have a good knife to go through that. All right, let's get this cut up and in there. And it don't have to be no particular way. It just, uh, I just want to get, be done when the studies are done. And, uh, it will be. 
but I'm still kind of kind of smile. I like the distribution of not just the flavor, but the color too. You know how anybody is. You want your plate pretty too. And that's less than half of a green pepper. And now let's get this onion in there. And that's about half of a leftover onion I have. And I hadn't wrapped it, so it tried to hydrate a little bit. Yeah, it ain't gonna hurt it. All right, and then let me get it in there. I'll do a lot better when I do it right. But now, my right today may be a different right tomorrow, so there you go. I can't stick to one plan, seems like. Let me get it sliced up. Then that's good. I tell you what, there are not many things better than a fried potatoes and onions. I used to wouldn't hardly eat a onion and a potato. My daddy'd come over and he'd say, Won't you fry some uh, taters, Georgie? Won't you fry some taters, baby? You know how anybody is. I'm going to do anything my daddy asked me to do. And he'd say, now, cut up some onion in it. And, oh, Lord, that just tired me up, them good potatoes, rarely in them with an onion. And every now and then I'd be like, Daddy, why, why do you want me to rarely them good taters, fried taters with an onion? Uh, they get to it pretty good. And he'd say, you don't know what good eating is, little girl. You don't know what good eating is. And I'd fix them for him. And I don't know what I could have possibly not like that. Probably didn't want bad breath. You know how young girls are. Afraid to give me bad breath, truth be known. It's been slung out of memory now. But I'd fix them potatoes for him. I'll drop that big onion right out my face. Look at that, this little in right here. Already brown, look at that. This is pretty, getting as pretty as it can be. But, um, oh, I learned to love them. I love them better than anything. And if I didn't love them, my little daddy's gone now. If I didn't love them, honey, I'd eat them. I'd eat them for him. Just, just to honor him. Anybody, anybody misses their little mommy's little daddies, don't they? But um, I'm gonna fry these uh, taters and these onions together in this green pepper, and I'm gonna get out here and slice a little bit more meat. And I don't have a lid or nothing on it yet. And I've got it on medium, on medium on my burner. And uh, that's already too hot to handle. And uh, I like for them to get a little crispy. That's why I don't want a lid on them. And they're thin enough that they don't need a lid. If they were all big ones like that one, and they had grease on it, <laughs> it ain't done either. It's raw tater. Oh, I about forgot my salt. If, uh, if they were all big ones, I might put a skillet on, uh, lid on my skillet for a little while to help them along, but uh, they're fine. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Thank you. Hey, guys, I've got a little bit of meat on. I put a little salt on them. I've still got plenty here to cut. I'm not going to fix it all on. I'm just fixing enough for a couple of people for lunch, like I said, and then uh I'm not getting low on pepper. I'm not going to put pepper on my potatoes. I absolutely do not like pepper on fried potatoes. And I'm getting them. Hang on, the skill. this skillet's good for the oven, but they're probably not ideal for the cooktop because the handle is more difficult to use. But uh, this one, this skillet might stick a little because, like I said, it's brand new. They come to you seasoned, but they're not seasoned enough for me. I'm roughing a cob on anything, so. But they're starting to, they're starting to get done. You can see them starting to brown up there. See them, ain't them pretty. And um, I had to quit talking about my daddy now. I, I can't, I can't talk about him too much. i take the bowl and I so best thing for me to do is hush but he still did love 
loved children. He wanted to make, he'd, he'd eat them every meal. He'd eat them for breakfast, dinner, supper, if you'd fix them a potato. But now, I'm a meat potato gal. I, anyway, I can get it. I'm not too doggone fussy about a potato. And on this meat, it's just a little old pork roast that I'm, I cut up, cut it thin, and I'm a fry it. And uh, everything's, most skillets are full, so I'm on hold till the meat gets done. I add a little bit more to it. I'll be back in a minute. Thank you, guys. Hey, guys, I'm back. I, I've been outside helping uh, get that old tin off the road from the, where the porch flung itself back there. And my potatoes are trying to stick. There's nothing we can't handle, I don't believe. Nothing that really matters to heal it down. Some sticks, I don't care. Things are going to stick till this skillet lines itself out. And it will. They're starting to get done a little bit. Let me check on this meat. It's starting to get done too. Good buddy. Man, she looks good. Just a few more minutes and this batch will be done. I still ain't got no meat. I wound up like that outside of working. You talk about in the piddling business. <coughs> but I've got to have holes. I I'm absolutely not an inside person, so that that's priority. There, there's a plenty needs to be done in here. There's plenty needs to be done all over this place. But, uh, I don't care. It'll come together eventually. It either will or it won't. Um, I'm not going to worry myself to death about it because, um, I, I'm outside. I love this, this property is just paradise. I love it. It's the prettiest place I've ever had. Alright then, um, I'm going to let you off here again and be back in a minute. Hey y'all, let's check on these potatoes again. I hope you can see. That meat's are getting frisky over there. It's a popping. Yeah, they're they are doing good. Do they? They're doing just exactly what we want them to do. Man, they're smelling good too. That onion and green pepper. Ooh, Lordy, that smells best. Just let them fry. Some of them now get tore up and stuff. They don't maintain a perfect shape because you're stirring around in them and flicking them and messing in them. I think this meat is ready to come out. It is. Let me get it out. Look at that. You can't hardly beat a with that little pork roast for frying. Man, it's good. I'll get me another little batch in here. I cut me up some more. I'll get it on. Getting some pretty good sized pieces now. I just want enough to fill my skillet up again because that is more than enough. But now he's working awful hard and that burns through. A lot of calories, so keep him watered and fed. Same way with myself, same way with young. Do a good little piece of finger cut. That's good try. That's a little center cut salt, basically. I'm gonna get another one off here. I'll cut this one a bit too thick back for that one. Try to thin it down. Butterflies, what I do. If it can, it's not, it's not frozen, it's not semi-frozen, it's completely styled. We're getting butter flour, but we cut her down. And, uh, put in it. Alright guys, I'm going to turn these potatoes. Well, I'm going to put this little bit of fat in there and let it render. I'm out of bacon grease. 
Um, that's to aggravate me. Forget what I should have done with fried the meat and then the potatoes in that meat grease. But um, I didn't. I didn't want my meat to get cold and have to be reheated. It ain't as good. And I didn't want to wait either. I'm hungry. Let me show you what these potatoes are looking like. Real good juice. I need to add a little salt to my meat though. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about pepper right now. Look at these. Uh, and potatoes are doing exactly what we want them to do. They look so good. And they smell even better. And they should taste better than they look better than they smell. They always have. If they don't this time, I'll be surprised. All right, I'll be back. Guys, I've been back outside again. I think I smell my potatoes trying to burn in my camera and it's set up. There it is. It's kind of leaning, but it's getting her done. Yeah. I know what to do with everything. This place is uh, lit up. And let's see. I hope I didn't burn them, but I know I did. I can smell it. Hopefully they're not. Oh, they're not burning up. Lord, they're just right. That's how I like them. I guess it's what's stuck to the bottom that's doing the burning. But you want to turn them, you know, pretty regular now on your potatoes. And when you poke one of the thicker ones with a fork, if it, if, or whatever you're using, like now I'm using that burn fish turner. I love that thing. It's handy for thing. If I tear it up, I'll get me another one. But uh, if it's fork tender, pota potatoes are fork tender, they're done. And I did cover them up for a minute because I was going to be outside. And I've got them turned down too. So uh, they can uh, go ahead and get done on a lower temperature. Because they're brown enough to suit me. And I don't care if they're crispy. Not not today I don't care. Uh, we got so much to do that more than anybody can do really. Might have my meat turned just down just about too much. It'll be done, but it ain't gonna brown up. Don't look like a little bit. What I'll do is uh, when I consider it done, I'll turn it. I'll be in here to mind it, and I'll turn it up on higher temperature and let it brown. Cause it don't take it but a second. Well, I cannot get a hold of that piece of meat. That one. We can't flip it one way. We'll flip it another one. Well, I'm going to head back outside and let him hand me that tin off that roof. All right, I'll see you guys in a minute. I might as well turn that down another little notch and definitely turn them toddies down another little notch because I ain't in here to watch them. All right, I'll be back in a minute. Thank you guys for bearing with me. Here you go, guys. I'll show you what we're uh, working with here. Here's the tin that he's been handing me off the roof. and shh, Lord, I want you to look what a mess we've got. He's up on that roof and uh, trying to just get it all off. Let me back up a little bit so you can see a little bit better what we're... Well, I'll go over here. You can see the whole porch roof was flung back on the roof. We're just hoping it's not killed the roof of the old trailer because if it has, well, we just have to figure it out, I guess, as we go. But, um, we're getting it. And, uh, let me walk in around a minute. I don't think I have. I've shown some pictures, but I ain't really showed much else. This place is just, uh, I went a squirrel just a hopping. Far as the eye can see. Ain't that something? <laughs> there goes my baby. That's Smooch. Smooch! Smooch Pooh. He's ignoring me. And I know you all didn't come into a cooking video to see this, but I hope you want to see it. I love this place better than anything. I'm out daylight to dark. The only thing that scares me is for a cow to grab crazy there. And I'd cry for six months. There ain't no doubt about it. Look at this. Ain't this something? If we can ever get that fixed. And we will. <laughs> we'll probably be 
old wore out retired and can't even fix it time we get it fixed but you know what it's a good solid roof over our heads it don't leak well it didn't with the porch only it might leak now that we've been up there and tore up jack but it had to be done and the porch around the other side um is in real bad shape too so we've got to do that too let me run around here right fast I've got groceries sitting on the porch in a laundry basket. Got garbage sitting here. Been sitting here for two days. But uh, here's the porch on the other side, and Alor, it's a real bad mess. It's got to be tore off completely. The other porch, thank goodness, is concrete, and those are concrete blocks. But they're they're you can't. It's not safe. All right then. I'll be back in a minute. Thank you, guys. Hey, y'all. I just had last at 10 up there. Well, he did. He handed it down to me. I've not been on the roof. He told me I was going to have to get her and sweep it, though. But he was joking. I handed him the, the big old push broom, and then I just handed him a regular house broom. Just me going, he's up there getting ready to start on it. Still got to get the gutter off there that was slapped up against the roof with the rest of it. I'm gonna turn my taters right fast. Let's see where they're at. Right. And I had the lid back on them again because I had them cut down so low so that they can finish getting done because there's one or two that I had cut bigger that it is not coming along. I mean, it's coming along, just coming along slower than the thin stuff. And this way, if I cut it down good, that thin stuff will get done, and or won't burn, rather, while the thicker stuff goes ahead and gets done. Let me show these potatoes to you. Man, sex are, they look good. Look at that. Don't them look good? Yummy, yummy. And I uh, just got a little bit of plate of meat fixed here. And I'm getting ready to do a little, little bit of uh, fried bread. Some hoe cakes. Different people call them different things. And uh, I'll be back. Thank you. Hey, y'all. I've got me a little bit of uh, bread mixed up here. Still got my potatoes on the load. I was rendering that little bit of a uh, little piece of meat I put in there a while ago. Well, there wasn't no meat to it, just that. But I'll show it to you. Now, you talk. Well, I'll not be showing you that piece. I'll have to wash my trick right there. There you have it. It's wet, it's probably gonna get me burnt. Here's that fat I was rendering off. Just so I could have a little bit more juice here. Or a little bit of juice. Grease here, and I've got me a little bit of bread mixed up. And let's get it going. We don't need much. Just a piece. And I'm making a pretty good sized piece. We'll break it in half. We'll share it. I'm going to turn in potatoes again right fast. I'm going to get this in the sink. All right, let's check on our potatoes, see what they're... I didn't realize I didn't have a light on. I turned it on when I come in a minute ago from being out there. Handing him them brooms and getting the lights at 10 off and handing him the brooms. And uh, I didn't realize it was so dark in here till I walked in. I was like, wow, I can't see a thing. And I've got these potatoes on low. They're done. I'm going to turn them off. The only thing we're waiting on is the bread. And uh, while that bread, I'm going to show you something. When you're fixing this bread, when it's 
bubbling around the edges like that now it's not hardly ready to turn when it starts bubbling in the minute though huh in the middle she's ready to turn and uh, I want some of that so let me my floor is not level have to get ready to get burnt let's see get some of that so it can travel all the way around that bread and here's what the bottom of it looks like and it's still, it's good, getting good and dark, but it's still not ready to turn. I want that middle to get some bubbles in it, and then I'll turn it. That way it don't splatter everywhere. All right, I got to get me a tomato cutter back. I got my potato, uh, tomato, and I cut the little tippy end off, and I cut the uh, other spot out of it. Now I'm going to rinse it off real fast. And we're going to get this sliced up. And our bread is really, ah, oh, heck, right on the roof. I just about put you on the roof with Mr. Million, didn't I? Let me show you this tomato right fast. And I'm just going to slice it. Nothing fancy. Just slice her. And even though that's a store-bought tomato, man, it's a nice one. Let me check on my bread real quick. It's starting to, uh, let me show you so you'll know what I'm talking about. It's starting to get the bubbles. See, trying to appear. Now it's ready to turn. There she is. And I don't want to squash it down. I'm just kind of patting on it. I, I, that's a habit. That's what that is. And uh, let it do its I'm frying down, and that way it'll be fluffy. If you want it dense, you pat it down good. If you want it fluffy, and I do, then uh, I leave it alone. Sometimes I pat it down, though. Sometimes I'm in a hurry. If you pat it down, it'll squirt out the sides, get done quicker. But uh, we'll be back right here in a minute. Thank you for bearing with me. Thank you, guys.